the, the party at the national level met on um, on Tuesday, the 8th of December uh, 2020, uh, and the neck of the party met, National Executive Committee met, and in one of the, discussed a number of issues and passed a lot of a number of resolutions, one of which being the complete and outright dissolution of all party structures in the states, local governments, and the wards across the entire country and the FCT. Thereafter, the tenure of the caretaker committee and convention caretaker and convention planning committee at the national level, led by His Excellency Governor Buni, was extended for six months. Was extended for six months. Their tenure, the tenure was extended for six months. It ought to have expired in December, but it was extended for another six months. Thereafter, the meeting reconstituted caretaker committees across the entire statistic states of the Federation, including FCT Abuja. That was what happened. Then on Friday, the Friday, the 11th of December, 2020, the, the chairman of the 36 states and the FCT Abuja, the caretaker committee chairman, were inaugurated. They were inaugurated in Abuja and then mandated to go to their respective states and inaugurate their, the local governments and the wards. First, inaugurate the state, the rest of the members of the state, as a caretaker committee, and then move on to the local governments and inaugurate them, and then that way down to the ward levels. So on Sunday, based on that mandate, on Sunday, yesterday, we we had the inauguration of our um, local government caretaker committees first we had the state local uh, caretaker committee inaugurated and then we moved on to the local government and inaugurated them and then they moved on to the wards across the 23 local governments of the state and also inaugurated the caretaker committees at that level both local government and the ward levels those are the few activities that have taken place these few days. What you have is a fresh mandate. There was complete and absolute dissolution of all existing structures by whatever names called. Whether you call it the elected um, party officers or you call them caretaker committees, they were completely and absolutely um, uh, um, dissolved. What you have is a fresh, fresh, fresh caretaker committee made up of more than five members. Goma is on appeal to the Supreme Court, and then the Court of Appeal, the Court of Appeal stayed whatever had happened at the High Court. The Court of Appeal, which is higher than Omeriji's High Court, hmm, has stayed whatever happened in Omeriji's court or in this, uh, this judgment. So we can't be talking about Igor Agume anymore. That order, the judgment was suspended. That judgment is not operational because the Court of Appeal says so. It's not effective, it's not operational. This is Goshen TV, broadcasting independently from Port Harcourt, South South Nigeria. We've come into the global media space to take a prime place to do the business of journalism and broadcasting in different and exciting ways. On our platform, you will watch breaking news, special interview programs, for example, the Pandora Box, Stars, News Digest. There will also be Just Hour and many more. Goshen TV will offer you a platform to advertise your goods and services, as well as provide the opportunity for the coverage of your special events. To enjoy our various program, follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and 
Twitter. Goshen TV, this is The Tonic. The Court of Appeal is superior to the High Court. Court of Appeal has made an order, is binding on all lower courts. You can't be talking about the High Court judgment when the Court of Appeal has a pronouncement. But it's not going the same way. The, there is no crisis in the APC. We have disagreements, which is uh, normal in the political uh, gatherings, whether PDP, whether APC, whether other parties, they have disagreements. And uh, they sit down, resolve their disagreements one way or the other. They find political solutions to disagreements and all that. We do not have any faction in River State. We do not have any crisis. The party is moving on. Whoever does not want to jump on the train will leave the person behind and move on. Igor Goma is inconsequential. Igor Goma is looking for relevance. Igor Goma is no longer in the lexicon of APC, as far as we are concerned. He's, a, he's just looking for relevance. Igor Goma, we, we don't see Igor Goma in this party. We are moving on. Sure, naturally, every, uh, what's the essence of a political party? The essence of a political party is to canvass for votes and get uh, persons elected to offices. So if you do not have persons in offices, of course, naturally, um, you should be concerned and then you work harder to ensure that in the next elections, you have, uh, you field candidates and then you have them elected into office. How can you have the pronouncement of the Court of Appeal and then you're still basking? What is he looking for? Are you parading yourself about, uh, around when you have the Court of Appeal's pronouncement? You are not recognized by the national party, the party you say you belong to? And then we are talking about Igor Agoma here. There is no group in APC. People are disagreeing, individuals are disagreeing uh, uh, as to one issue or the other. And uh, it doesn't make it a group in every human grouping or relationship, some bit of disagreement. There must be. Individuals have their respective um, objectives, what they want, where well, some of them are platform seekers, some of them are party members, that is party people, party men and women. So it depends on what you want out of a political um, platform or a political grouping or a political um, uh, movement. Individuals have, like I said, the, each person is pursuing what he or she wants out of a political situation or circumstance. and. That is just it. So any person, uh, people move according to their, um, what their objectives are. We've had very high profile movements into the APC. In fact, as recent as last week, Saturday, we received former members of the House of Assembly. We received a former commission, in fact, former commissioners. We received um, very senior members of other parties into our fold. We have, we, have, we have also received two, well, at least we have in our fold, two serving House of Representatives um, members. We, for one from we, the, the Oibo, the one representing the Oibo, Oibo Federal Constituency and the one representing the Omoma Eche Federal Constituency. They are in our fold and they attended, they've been attending all our functions. So people have their respective objectives and reasons why they move at any time. APC is intact. It's not divided. We are moving ahead. The carnivals are ongoing. People disagree and resolve and agree and move on, just like it's happening in PDP and in other parties.
Governorship election is not a state election. Governorship election is a national election conducted by INEC. Local government election is conducted by so-called independent uh, River State Independent Electoral Commission, chaired already by so, a cat-carrying member of the party. That has not been discussed. The party has to discuss as an organized body from the national to the leadership to the stakeholders to the members don't have faith in it but it doesn't mean that we have taken the decision whether we are contesting or not it should be clear that first we do not have faith in that body of course that body from the beginning is uh, made up of card carrying members of a political party but that does not mean that we do not that we have taken a decision one way or the other to contest or not to contest it has decision must trickle down from the national to every person and when we take that decision you will one of the members is a lecturer in the uniport um can't remember his name i think he's from the ogoni axis um the lecturer uh, in uniport is from ahoda he's from ahoda east local government area and a known uh, that's my local government area a, a known card carrying member of the pdp he was in the campaign he was in the finance subcommittee campaign team of dr good luck at that time is known he has been funding and holding awards and local government meetings in ahoda east I, I can't recall his name now the other one a member of the uh, he works in the legal department of the house of assembly and then from there he's been appointed to the uh, electoral commission uh, state electoral commission he was brought into the house of assembly when um, honorable deco was a member of the house of assembly brought him in as a personal aide and then thereafter he uh, arranged for him to become a staff and then he was his personal aide and he's been working for him until he was retained in the house of assembly and then he's been campaigning all over the place for him he's a cat carry member of the pdp he's a lawyer and i'm a lawyer i know him so the honor chair is not a cat carry member the ward the units the state uh, have told you that honor chair is not a cat carry member of the apc and you can do your findings she is not not like in this river state case where you have known card carry members of the party the judge that is uh, has been made the chairman of the board of the of the commission don't you know the judge is he not notorious in river state for for his hatred for um high profile personalities of the party for his judgments when he was on seat it's not compensation for him and what do you expect him to do there we have no no confidence at all in that electoral river state electoral commission no confidence zero confidence the facts are clear that these are cat carrying members of the people democratic party in river state yes he's eminently qualified as qualified as any nigerian and he should in fact we are urging him to present himself as a presidential candidate come 2023 we know it the the facts are, are are obvious that is the is very qualified and people are rooting in north in the north in the south and in the west to contest that position no other person no other person has had that kind of um, uh, support so far from this from river state and the southeast and the south south he is eminently qualified to contest the presidency of this country and he is he should be encouraged and we're encouraging him to contest come 2020. Amechi has a chance in winning anything he wants to win both in river state and at the national level wiki no wiki is inconsequential to us 2023 2020 2021 2022 2023 are different years altogether and they are completely different from 2019 and other years. of course wiki is no match to Amechi that you certainly it's you can't compare there's no basis at all wiki is no match for Amechi. that's that is not even a question for debate of argument wiki has performed woefully as a governor he has no idea he doesn't know what he's doing as a governor it's uh, loquacious he talks that's all he does stands in the church pulpit and issues revocation and those are the things he does when i met you you want to compare to people when he was in government you could come go to Ahoda east go to my village i have primary school that is upstairs with all the facilities all the facilities computer laboratory E, 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 e library um, generating sets brand new and all that with computers 
fenced, secured, beautiful place to learn, good conducive environment. It's replicated in virtually all the villages in my ward, Ward 10 of Ahoda East Local Government Area. It's replicated in virtually every ward in my local government. You see beautiful schools and all that's education. You go to the health sector. You will see primary, you will see the head, you will see all the structures put in place in virtually all the local governments in this, in this, in this state. Go to the roads, road network, all over my area. That's, I'm telling you what I know firsthand. And what has it done? What has Wiki done? Asphalting a few roads here and there. And you want to compare? Do you, whether Wiki is in power, is not in power, is inconsequential, is immaterial to us, we are going to win our elections here in River State come 2023. It doesn't matter who is in the saddle, who is not in the saddle, we we'll win that election, we we'll go into that election, contest it, win it convincingly, and we'll be there in government house, we'll win at the state, in the state assemblies, we'll win at the national assemblies, we we'll win the president, we we'll, we will retain the presidency come 2020. APC. APC is moving on. I don't see where, I don't know where you're seeing the, 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 um, the threats to APC. We are moving on. We've been holding activities here. We are not missing out on anything. The party is alive and working and moving on. Where is the threat? We are here. The secretariat is open. Workers are there. Party members are coming. They are holding events all over the place. State, local government, wards. You will see them in the days to come. We've just inaugurated them.